A brief introduction to GX Web. The little sister of the wonderful geometry expressions from Saltire Software, GX Web offers three significant features. In addition to being, you know, free and available on any screen with a browser and internet connection. First, GX Web offers constraint based dynamic geometry. This makes it powerful, simple to use, and the perfect tool for anyone, teacher or student, to build both geometric constructions and mathematical models. Second, GX Web uniquely is built upon a foundation of computer algebra, works as easily with variables as with numeric values. And third, and possibly most important for teachers, once you've built an interactive GX Web document, it can be instantly saved and published as a live interactive web page. Uh, in a time of remote learning, this is genius. Okay, so for a brief introduction to GX Web, I would use an old favourite of mine, adapted from a New South Wales HSC question from 2005. Two friends agree to meet during their lunch hour, but both are very busy and unsure whether they can make it. They each agree to wait for X minutes, and if the other person hasn't arrived, to leave. What is their chance of meeting? Now, we're not going to go into how that translates to the geometric model. That's a conversation for another day. I'm just going to build the model using GX Web, and you'll see how powerful this tool is. Okay, the basis of the model is a unit square to represent their lunch hour. Constraint-based geometry, as opposed to most dynamic geometry packages, if you wanted to create, uh, construct a square in most packages, uh, you would need to incorporate the properties of the square as you go. In GX Web, you can start with any four uh, quadrilateral. Let's um, and then tell it make a square. So I'm going to constrain those those two sides to be perpendicular. Now I'll constrain these two sides to be perpendicular. Okay, we've got ourselves a rectangle. Now let's constrain the lengths to make it a unit square Each side has to be one. It's an interesting question for students as to what's enough information to be sure you have yourself a unit square. Two sides here was sufficient. Now the model we're going to build involves putting a segment of length x on each side. We'll join those for a segment. And we've constructed a hexagon inside the square. OK. Take it as given. The area of that hexagon actually represents the probability of the two people meeting. Uh, if their meeting time lies within that hexagon, uh, then they will meet, otherwise they don't. Our variable is readily controlled. From in here, let's limit it. Uh, X can go from 0 to 1. Now I can use the slider here, or I can grab any of the uh, defining points. Now, let's define the area of the hexagon 
it's that simple. If we set our um, time to 0.5, in other words, if they agree to wait half an hour each, they actually have a 75% chance of meeting. So clearly it's non-linear. Let's put in a point. Now I'd like to define that point in terms of the, um, uh, the area. And to do that, we're now going to use a very, very powerful tool, which is the symbolic palette. Which tells us, without even blinking, that the area of the hexagon is 2x minus x squared. I'm going to constrain that point to be x, 2 times x minus x squared. We have our, um, our point moves in accordance with uh, the variable x. Lovely feature, locus, variable x. And there we have our model. Now students are free to explore um, an overlay with a, uh, uh, a curve. This one is pretty clearly quadratic. But we're going to move on, save the app, download it. I could also copy the contents and paste them into uh, an empty uh, web page. Going to my website. And there is the, the app that we've uh, just created, rename it, no, it's not going to let me do that here. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it to my website, Compass Tech. Put it into a folder I'll call AAMT and save. Now you notice the name of the file is actually they've tagged a .txt on the end of it. We just want it to be an HTML file, so I'm just going to rename that. It's the only work you've got to do in all this. No coding required. So we're going to call it app.html, and it's now online, so I'm going to go back, visit my website at compasstech.com.au, put in the address, and there is our model, dynamic model that can form the basis for further investigation. All this from a free browser-based piece of software, which I heartily recommend.